welcome to another episode of Blooms for You. Perfect timing, I've got this massive bee or whatever it is that has just found my beautiful, gorgeous Dendrobium Ophyllum blooms, which he can do what he wants. Go ahead, let's see what you can do and make out of them. I love the contrast of that darkness. That was totally unexpected, but I'll take it. I've got King giving him a very, very interested eye. I don't want him jumping up and doing anything. I am quite loving this shot, actually. Don't go away, you can stay. We're getting photobombed by a bee, and now I've completely lost the plot. Anyway, Dendrobium of Film, what can I say? Cousin It is still around, but my goodness, if I were to make a list and dedicate these blooms to everybody on that list, I think I would be talking 40 names. And you know what? As tempted as I was to do that, because that'll really, really cover a lot of ground to say thank you to people individually, I don't want these videos to sound like I'm calling out customers to come and get their order at the counter. So instead, Dendrobium of Film goes to everybody that is watching this video, be it today, tomorrow, six months down the line, or whenever. I really appreciate that you clicked on this video. Thank you so very, very much. And these blooms are also dedicated to anybody that is not mentioned here today. Goes without saying, you're here watching. That is a massive support as well. You are very much appreciated. So, Dendrobium of Film. I have not counted these blooms. Suffice to say, there's at least a hundred of them. <laughs> I get cross-eyed when I'm trying to count a spike that has 16 to 20 blooms. I'm like, oh, gotta start again. Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support on my channel. This is Dendrobium of Film. She blooms for you. And now let's go and look, see whose name came up and other blooms that have opened in the meantime. Because wow, we are not without. We did it! <laughs> I have clean Fires Tancanvillier blooms. Pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> First of all, before I get carried away here with enthusiasm, <laughs> thank you to Brian Rainey, Barcode Yankee, Victoria Bell, Anna Prohaska, Ken Million, Diana Peterson, Todd Holloway, Bauhaus 1000 and Cynthia Martinez for your support on my channel. Yes, it was well worth it to be spreading all the Vaseline all along the spikes and the base of the orchid to protect these blooms from ants. It has been absolutely worthwhile. Might have seemed a little silly at the time, but look, look at this. Considering what I had last year, this is exactly what I want out of my fires at least once a year. And, you know, the rest of the year I try to help her along as best as I can with the culture, with the care. I won't ever have a beautiful lush fires as such, simply because my environment isn't perfect for it, unfortunately. So, misjudgment on my part, but when she does this once a year, then at least I get something out of her and she can't be that unhappy otherwise she wouldn't bloom. Hence the Vaseline and yes I can dedicate these blooms because they're clean and pristine with a few little blemishes here and there but that is normal. When the buds were forming she was still more exposed to the elements and got some rain on them and this orchid clearly does not like to have anything touching the blooms because otherwise blemishes and and imperfections but oh my goodness she is taking up a lot of space at the moment in my blooming alley but it's not very long lasting so I'm okay with having to weave my way around her when I say not very long lasting I've already had these blooms for let's say starting two weeks ago with the lowest ones opening sooner and of course as the spike matures the other blooms open as well those are already fading even as they fade, I think they make such a gorgeous, gorgeous spectacle. The bronze of the petals and sepals gets a little bit darker, and then the lip starts to match with a little touch of yellow. But my goodness, let me just get back to saying thank you to Brian Rainey, Barcode Yankee, Victoria Bell, Anna Prohaska, Ken Million, Diana Peterson, Todd Holloway, Bauhaus 1000, and Cynthia Martinez. 
I think I have in total 21 blooms this time around. You can imagine that I'm pleased <laughs> that I can actually say I have 21 blooms as opposed to, well, I could have had 21 blooms, but they look really horrible. <laughs> She is not fragrant, but that is the only downside to this orchid when she is in bloom. She is graceful, beautiful. Oh, just love these blooms so, so much. All of you, Brian Rainey, Barcode, Yankee, Victoria Bell, Anna Prohaska, Ken Million, Diana Peterson, Todd Holloway, Bauhaus 1000, Cynthia Martinez, Thank you to all of you for your support on my channel and my Fias Tancanvillia blooms. They bloom for you. The rest of her is covered in Vaseline, <laughs> but she is not covered in ants. Your support is so very much appreciated. Look who's back after two years of being absent. No blooms from Phalaenopsis Pinkton Bronze Age for two years, but ta-da! She made it. She made it through all the volatile and horrible weather. February, March, she came through. Her buds didn't blast. Happy days. It is so good to see you again. Yeah, I'm going to keep checking my leaves just to make sure she doesn't heat up. She is definitely not accustomed to this harsh sunlight, but oh, she looks so gorgeous. And you know what? I quite like the double effect I'm getting here. These two blooms in the shade protected by the leaf. And then we have the example in the sun. This makes filming relatively easy, but I took some stills that even show more detail and I will be inserting those sporadically and I'm getting carried away. This spike blooms for Andrea Allum, Lisa Liu, Sandra G, and Helen Benjafield. So, I very rarely dedicate Phalaenopsis orchids as a blooms for you dedication to say thank you because I do understand that they can be quite, quite controversial and not everybody likes Phalaenopsis. And I do want to make an effort to make sure that when I dedicate blooms as a thank you, I do not want anybody to feel offended when they see that they're being thanked via Phalaenopsis orchids. The only exceptions I make is when it comes to these novelty hybrids or the species, because they are of a completely different caliber. I mean, just look at this. How can you not? Even the name is proper bronze age. So many different hues of bronze all scattered around this bloom. So gorgeous how she works with the sunlight. And it is true what I see in the viewfinder as to what I see on the naked eye. I don't have to be fiddling with any filters or do much explanation. This orchid speaks for herself, not only because of her looks, but also because of her fragrance, and she is a very, very potent little one. Her fragrance reminds me of fruity pebbles, skittles, if you will. Very sweet, very sugary, but there's a lot of hint of different layers where I would say, yeah, that's like a bag of fruity pebbles, skittles, depending on where you are in the world. But oh, it's delicious and mouth-watering so not only is she beautiful but she smells good so i find her worthy enough to say thank you to andrea allum lisa liu sandra g and helen benjafield and i hope i am not mistaken in my judgment call here ladies thank you so much for your support on my channel my cute phalaenopsis pink and bronze age look at that she blooms for you. Your support here is so appreciated. And not just because you spend time watching my videos, but also your comments. Thank you all so very, very much. I hope you are having a fabulous day when you see this. Phalaenopsis Leodoro Sweet Memory. Well, here we are. I have two blooms at the moment. I'm expecting a third. Unfortunately, that is all I have to show for from her this year. But let me get to the names. My sweet memory blooms go to Suzanne Bieber and Crystal Honda. At least I have two to show for. We've got sun. What do you know? <laughs> Who's complaining? But here we are. At least one bloom is showing you all the angles and the other one is a bit washed out. 
pictures are coming in thick and fast to give you the exact impression of the blooms I'm dedicating to you. Susan Bieber and Crystal Honda. My Leodora Sweet memory is nothing of what this orchid's potential of blooming is. I have made a community post a while back of another Leodora Sweet memory with 21 blooms that are as large as this and just looks magnificent. So I'm not here to be harping on about my three blooms and what a great show it is. I am here to celebrate. I have two open at the moment and one bud well on its way because all my novelty hybrids went through torture, I would say. There is no better word to say than torture because of the temperatures, no light, etc. So to get something, something, I'm super pleased and I really am hoping that you, Susan Bieber and Crystal Honda, like Phalaenopsis, because again, I very rarely do Phalaenopsis dedications, seeing as there is such a mixed approach to like hate or like loathe. So I don't want to offend anybody, but these novelty hybrids and these summer bloomers, they truly are something else. They are different. They are special super fragrant, a very sweet fragrance. She is not as intense as she can be because her light levels are still rather low. If I were to put her into brighter light, her fragrance would increase, but I couldn't do that up until now because the night temperatures are not really yet warm enough. But oh my goodness, I'm such a sucker for that hot pink lip. Anything hot pink fuchsia like that. Oh, I'm all over it. Beautiful, beautiful orchid. So happy to at least have these three coming. And the others that were supposed to come on the secondary spikes and branch back here, they blasted. But my goodness, I am grateful for this one. And this happens to be the spike that grew throughout the winter. So yeah, 2021-22 winter season. This is the latest spike. And here we have the spike from 2020 and 2021. The same as in the back down here. There's another one tucked away back in here. Well, I had two spikes growing during that winter season because I was still using artificial lights. Things have changed, but still, she was in episode one of Blooms for You. Back when I started this series, and I keep touching my leaves just to make sure the heat doesn't get too much, seeing as she's never seen this kind of light before. Yeah, episode one is where she featured and was also dedicated back then. So happy this orchid is still around and more than happy to be able to say thank you to Susan Bieber for your support on my channel and Crystal Honda for also supporting me on my channel here with these beautiful Leodoro Sweet Memory Blooms. Know that you are just as much appreciated here on my channel as I appreciate having these blooms to dedicate to you. And I really hope you are doing well in your part of the world. One individual Brassavola tubercolata bloom. Oh my goodness, I am very happy to have this single one to dedicate to Josh Riebsommer. I have to tell you that I've been waiting for this one to open and I was hoping it would make it and it did. Josh Riebsommer, Brassavola tubercolata bloom. She blooms for you, Josh, to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. Now you can see... <laughs> That's why I was relieved that she did open. She is a little bit kinked here on the side. That part of the lip didn't get the unfolding quite right. And yeah, I am just glad that she did open because it was quite the long wait to make sure that this bud made it through. She stayed inside while she was forming the bud and I was very, very concerned about bud blast. So I didn't move her up until today to bring her out, to film her and to dedicate her to you. And after this, she is going to go into my blooming alley where I hope she will be blooming for, let's say, the next coming two weeks at a minimum. And then tonight, hopefully, I will get some of her gorgeous, sugary, citrusy fragrance. But I want to say thank you to you, Josh Riebsommer, for your support, for the time you spend watching my videos and also for leaving me comments. Thank you so very, very much. You are very much appreciated. And your name gives me a little bit of a touch of home as well. Riebsommer. <laughs>
I would like to just add though how I love the delicate texture of this bloom. There is nothing spectacular about her until you get up really, really close and you see the fabulous tissue-like texture of that lip. In and amongst very big blousey blooms, one could easily pass this one by and say, yep, okay, an orchid is in bloom. Get in closer, look closer and everything starts to open up and make sense. Even the petals and sepals have a satiny effect to them when you look closer. The throat appears to be a bit yellow on camera, but in actual fact, it's more on the chartreuse green side. That is the only difference here. Otherwise, everything matches what I see with the naked eye. I'm a person that absolutely loves the big blousey blooms, but when it comes to simplicity and finesse, I must say that the Brassavola tuberculata is one of the ones that I very much appreciate, especially this orchid is not a fast grower. As you can clearly see in the background there, my pot is not exactly full of fantastic growths and I've had this orchid approximately four years. <laughs> so as long as she gives me one growth and one bloom year in year out, I'm perfectly happy and she seems to be doing quite well with the media change of pumice and self-watering as opposed to lacquer and self-watering. I'm getting the aeration around the roots and I'm getting humidity around the roots. So I don't see that there is much of an issue happening. The test will obviously be now with the next new growth to see what the new roots will do. Anyway, Josh Riebsommer. Once again, thank you so very much for your support on my channel. Brassavola tuberculata, she blooms for you. Would you consider this too much of a good thing and walk away from it? <laughs> Ever heard of that phrase? When something is a little bit too much of a good thing, you kind of go a little bit, yeah, that sounds dodgy to me. Well, the orchid hobby comes with a lot of exceptions and I say too much of a good thing just does not apply. Bring it on. Dendrobium tortile blooms for Mind Relaxing World, Robin Alsbach, Finding My Tiara. By the way, I hope you found it. Francois Brunet, Dari, Victoria Mavelli, Plants and Carrots, Shernette Jones, Lil Joy Garden, Jean Mint or Jean Mint, Donna Lawler, David McMillan, Anita Zrinsky, Film Lifejoy, and Renata Cormick. I counted ah, 35 blooms. I stopped counting, got cross eyed, started again, failed. Lots of blooms on my Dendrobium tortilla, so I figured with 15 thank yous to go around. We have plenty of blooms for everybody. And then some. So there's still a few dangling down there, including the ants. Yes, I have this Dendrobium tortile <laughs> being used as a jungle gym for ants. But you know what? Let them be, let them be. I don't think I see too many interfering while I dedicate these blooms to Mind Relaxing World, Robin Alsbach, Finding My Tiara, Francois Brunet, Dari, Victoria Marvelli, Plants and Carrots, Shernette Jones, Lil Joy Garden, Jean Mint or Jean Mint, Donna Lawler, David McMillan, Anita Zrinsky, Film Life Joy, and of course, Renata Cormick. These blooms, they bloom for you. With a long list like that, I don't know how I started the sentence off, so if I am repeating myself, please forgive me. But I want you to know that this epic bloom display of my Dendrobium tortile is dedicated to all of you so that you know I see you, I thank you, I appreciate you for your support on my channel very, very much. It is absolutely gorgeous to have this orchid back in bloom. Not that I have a lot to do with her when she's not in bloom. She's just there on the corner of the shelf doing her thing. Gets some fertilizer, gets some supplements, gets flushes, you know, the usual. But it is just so wonderful when she gets into bloom and lights up that corner with her gorgeous, gorgeous colors and craziness. Isn't she messy? All her blooms all over the place. It's just like one big tangle of where are you going? You would think I've been moving this orchid around constantly while she was in bud, considering how all over the place her blooms are. But that is not the case. Like I said, 
She just lives in that corner. And when I have dealt with her and taken care of her, then she goes back into the corner, same position and everything. And still the blooms are upside down all over the place. And never mind the tendrils, the tentacle kind of petals and sepals. It's just one big gorgeous mess, but it works. <laughs> and not only that, she is fragrant as well. And when I say she has a delicate fragrance, that doesn't mean that it is faint. Her fragrance is a delicate rose fragrance, a wild kind of rose fragrance. You don't have to be very, very close or stick your nose into the blooms to appreciate that either. It is relatively obvious, but it is not overbearing. It is not in your nose. And only when the sun is really, really on her does it start to perfume the little corner where she's at. It just matches the entire delicate beauty of these blooms. They're whimsical, they're magical, they look like they belong elsewhere, and there is so much character in them. It's wonderful. They make a naked cane look fabulous. <laughs> so, Mind Relaxing World, Robin Alsbach, Finding My Tiara, Francois Brunet, Dari, Victoria Marvelli, Plants and Carrots, Shernette Jones, Lil Joy Garden, Jean Mint, Jean Mint, Donna Lawler, David McMillan, Anita Srinsky, Film Life Joy, and of course, Renata Cormick. Thank you to all of you so much for being here. I love our communications. I love the back and forth. I hope that you like these kinds of blooms, and I hope that you like them to be messy, but with a purpose. <laughs> Awesome. All of you are so very, very much appreciated. Thank you. First vanda to bloom in the season and the first vanda I get to dedicate to Midwest Horticulture, Luffy and Kevin S. This is Vanda Leopard Yawn. That is not her real name, obviously. That is a made up name by me. But I think the bloom itself says exactly why I came up with that name. The spotting and that long, long red lip that sort of replicates a massive cat yawning. Anyway, Midwest Horticulture, Luffy, Kevin S. Thank you to the three of you so, so much for your support on my channel. I have tried to position the camera in such a way that we can see all angles of a single bloom. So we have the front view, somewhat a little bit of a further down view, but the side view as well, amazing, with that enormous oversized XXL sized lip in comparison to the bloom. This is my first spike. I am hoping that the orchid has more of these spikes for us. Usually I get about three to four spikes a season, but she is a little bit poorly, so I'm very, very happy to at least get this one blooming. It is always lovely to see these exotic looking blooms back. I don't have a fragrance from her this time. Usually she has a fruity, sugary, sweet smelling fragrance, but not this time around. Like I said, she is poorly, so maybe that factors in as well. No fragrance. I'm trying to get this orchid to grow new roots. Of course, while she is in bloom, she is certainly not interested in growing new roots. So I'm kind of hedging my bets here a little bit. I may actually cut that spike off prematurely and let her get on with trying to produce new roots. But I had to, I just had to for once this year see these blooms again so that I could say thank you to Midwest Horticulture, Luffy and Kevin S via my Van der Leppard Yawn blooms for your support on my channel here. So very much appreciated. I do not take you for granted. I want you to know that I see you and I know that you're here, even if we don't communicate that much. The fact that you're on the list is because you did comment once or I could identify you as a subscriber. And for that, I want to say thank you so much using my beautifully exotic leopard yawn in helping me to do so. Because you know what they say, say it with flowers. My words probably are not adequate enough to express just how grateful I am for you being here. Thank you so much once again, Midwest Horticulture, Luffy and Kevin S. I hope you're all doing well in your part of the world.
let's just dive right into the mass of gorgeousness. <laughs> Close up shot. <laughs> oh, you want to just put your head in there. I hope that some of the stills and some of the side footage that I've taken was appealing and attractive. We have a little bit of an overcast day today. And well, we can't really see the sparkle on the petal sepals and on that lip. But like I said, I've got footage of this orchid for many, many days to come. <laughs> It has been an absolute pleasure to have her in bloom, to turn the corner, look left, see this gorgeous display, go to the east side, take care of those orchids, come back, look right, see this gorgeous display. I'm getting whiplash on my neck. Like, it's like being in a tennis match. <laughs> but how can you not? How can you not be mesmerized by such beauty? Short-lived as it may be, it is beautiful. I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Know that you are appreciated. And if you have never ever commented before, please leave me a comment so that I can add you to the list. And eventually there will be a bloom for you specifically as well. And the same thing, if you have subscribed but have a private account, please let me know you're here. I cannot see subscribers with private accounts, but I don't want anybody to miss out. I understand the need for privacy, I get that. But to give you an idea as to what it takes until your name comes up, it's about 12 months. Now that may sound like a very, very long time, but when it comes to the orchid hobby, blooms are once a year and then I try to get as many names in as possible. Like I said, I could have made a real dent in my list with the Dendrobium of Philum, seeing as Cousin It is still in bloom, but yeah, I think this orchid deserves to be dedicated to everybody that watches this video and supports my channel. So to all of you, thank you so, so much. Have yourself a beautiful, beautiful day. In one condition as per usual though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.